Hey guys, it's Hero. Let's look at the chances of sneaking into a town. We know it involves roguery and one of its perks. Some people think it involves the garrison. Some people think it involves your renown. The truth? They're all right. Let's take a look. The factors. Not the number of garrison troops, but their average level. Not their tier, their level. Your renown, not your clan tier. Your roguery level, and the two-faced perk. So the calculation starts with a base value, add your roguery skill with a weighted multiplier, subtracts garrison troops average level, again with a weighted multiplier, then it subtracts your renown with a weighted multiplier. Then it adds the two-faced perk, if you have it. Let's look at some actual numbers. You start off with a base value of 0.3, or 30% sneak-in chance. Then take the roguery skill and multiply it by 0 0.003, and add that to the base, sneak-in chance. So having 330 roguery will add 0.99 or 99% to the sneak in chance. Here's some other values. 100 would be 0.3, 150 would be 0.45, 200 would be 0.6. Then we take the average level of the troops in the garrison and multiply that by 0 0.005 and subtract that from the sneak in chance. Now this is the level of the troop, not the tier. The tier that you see in the encyclopedia and the party screen and so on is the level divided by five. So the troops are assigned a level in the XML. The vanilla values are these. So a tier zero peasant is actually level one. A tier one recruit is actually level six and so on all the way to a tier six noble line unit is actually level 31. So we take the average of all of the garrison troops. You might see a flaw here. If there's only one tier six troop in the garrison, that's an average of 31. Whereas 100 tier one recruits would be an average level of six. Hmm. So we take that average level and multiply it by 0 0.005. So at best it would be 31 times 0 0.005, which is 0.155 or 15 and a half percent in vanilla. The worst it would be is 0 0.005 for a level one average. So one tier zero peasant or 10,000 tier zero peasants in your garrison provide the same value to the sneak in chance. Next, we take the renown and multiply it by 0 0.00015 and subtract that from the sneak in chance. If that value is less than 0.15, use 0.15. You will always subtract at least 0.15 from the chance, regardless of what your renown is. Looking at some numbers, if you have a thousand renown or less, that would be 0.15. If you're clan tier five, you would have 2,350 renown at least, and that's 0.3525. If you're at clan tier six, you would have 6,150 renown, and that's 0.9. 225. The way Flesson stated it in the Discord is a perfect way of thinking about it. The more renown you have, the more known you are in Calradia. The more recognizable you are, the harder it will be to sneak into a town. Consider if you're Clan Tier 6, you have at least 6,150 renown. That equates to 0.9225, or 92.25% reduction in sneak in chance. Ignore the garrison for a moment and give yourself 330 roguery skill. That renown penalty nearly wipes out your roguery bonus. 
That's insane. The last factor is the perk, Two-Faced. After all the computation is done, add half the result to the result. That's 50% more. So, the factors are the quality of troops in the garrison, your renown, your roguery skill, and the two-faced perk. I hope this helped. I can create a calculator and add it to the Discord if anyone's interested. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.